As always, like to uh, give take uh, give credit to a very good team we faced in uh, Central Florida. We knew going in, they would try to uh, run downhill at us. I think the second week in a row, we held a team uh, under 100 yards rushing. However, pass defense, we have a long way to go, and uh, getting pressure on the quarterback. Offensively, we're down to our third tailback, and it looked like it. We have to get better. And the, the guys carrying the ball are talented, but just just terrible mistakes. Penalties and turnovers are not, um, you know, in the first game, very minimal penalties and zero turnovers. And then this week was, uh, was not good. So just got to fix it. We're going to have to really idea who's going to touch the ball. I mean, we have to really have to, we have to go back to the drawing board and make some decisions on who's going to physically touch that ball. And they have to take care of it, obviously. But we're going to enjoy the win. Winning uh, major college football games is a uh, tough duty, especially when you face a quality opponent. Last week, you had 17 carries. Coach said that was a little too much. How did you feel after that? And how do you think you'll feel after having 27 today? You know, 27 is a lot. But uh, we'll see tomorrow how my body feels. It feels good so far. Uh, we might lose Carlos Hyde for a week or two. I don't know. It's an MCL sprain. So I'm not sure how long he's going to be out. Uh, and obviously, I thought he was running the ball good. Also, Zach Bourne's another option for us to carry the ball. But uh, 27 carries, you know, he was, you could tell he was kind of blown in that fourth quarter. Man, the hole opened up, and I just shot through it. So Devin got a good block to the offensive line and uh, made a good play. We put up 400-plus yards, scored 31 points, and played probably 30% of our potential. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, this offense can be scary, but we need to be mistake-free and go out and make plays. I mean, I don't think we're not explosive. Uh, I think I think probably more explosive pass plays. I feel like you know we're definitely explosive in the run game with Braxton, always breaking long games. But I think we need to work on our passing game a little bit. Um, well, I still like where we're at. I mean, definitely we could get better, but averaging almost 40 points a game, I think that's pretty good for high state offense. Uh, turnovers, we had a couple down in there uh, that changed the game. That. Uh, we're kind of the checkmate plays of the game. Uh, you know, at Orion Johnson off the top of my head and uh, uh, Sabino on another one where we, we stopped them because they were going in to score. So uh, a lot of positives. I, the negative I see right now is I don't see the quarterback getting hit, and that's something that has to be addressed. That's going to solve a lot of problems in pass defense, and so we're going to address that and have a conversation about that this week. I think we've really improved. I think we had a great week in practice, one of our better weeks, and uh, you know, hopefully we carried that into this week and, and improve on last week. So we're just going to keep trying to get better every week, but uh, you can't be mad about a win. I mean, I knew, I knew the route that was coming. I knew it was double slants. And I squeezed on my man, and he seen it, and he threw it to the inside receiver, and he kind of came off his hands, and I kept my eyes on the ball and made a, a great catch. But overall, once again, I don't want to be the – down around here. We won a freaking game and we won by two touchdowns against quality opponents. So time to move on and get ready to go play. I don't know how good Central Florida's offense line is. I think they played pretty good today. But there's, you know, quick passing was the, I don't want to say it was an excuse the first week, but uh, we have got to pressure the quarterback. He had far too much time to throw the ball.